This is BTEC Engineering Unit 7, Section A20 in the Section A Examples Booklet on page 37. We, as usual, this is video, not a lesson, so make sure that you pause the lesson every so often in order to make notes. I won't be pausing to give you enough time to take notes, and you will need those notes in order to be able to do your assignment correctly. Now, as usual, this, is quite, this can be quite difficult math, so at the very, very least, make sure that you're able to follow through this method with slightly different numbers. So the processes are the same, what you do to the numbers is the same. You may have a, di a different starting point with the numbers. So, but other than that, just work it through exactly the same. Right, again, we've got to find the first and second derivative for part A. This time we've got a fraction, so s equals 3t plus 1 over 4t minus 12. Now in the last section we did something called the product rule for fun functions multiplied together. Now we are going to use something called the quotient rule, which is for functions that are divided by each other. So in this case we would make u equal to the function at the top, and we would make v equal to the function at the bottom. Then we need to differentiate both of those. It's very similar to the product rule, just a different formula to stick it in. So in this case, we need to be able to differentiate mt plus c functions. When they differentiate, you just get the number in front of the t, which is the m. So in this case, du by the t, the number in front of the t is 3. And then the v by the t, number in front of the t is equal to 4. So they're, they're fairly straightforward to differentiate these. Right, so the product rule to give us ds by the t is equal to v times du by the t minus u times the v by the t all over v squared. So we stick those into the formula, so v times u by the t is 3 times 4t minus 12 minus u times the v by the t, so 4 times 3t plus 1 all divided by v squared, so that's our v 4t minus 12 and we put uh, we square it. So we need to put in brackets to square it. Then we simplify. We'll need to simplify in order to do the second derivative. So 3 times 4, so we've got 12t minus 36, multiplying out those brackets. Minus 4 times 3t is minus 12t. Minus 4 times plus 1 is minus 4. all over 4t minus 12 all squared. Simplifying, 12t take away 12t is 0. We've got minus 36 minus 4, which is minus 40. Divided by 4t minus 12 all squared. And that's what ds by the t is which we'll need for part B, so I'm going to make a quick note of it here. There are no turning points for this curve, so we don't need to uh, we don't need to do a part C for turning points. So that's all we're going to need for future sections. Right, we also need to do the second derivative. So we need to differentiate this. Again, we've got a function of functions, so we can use the quotient rule, but we'll need an extra rule for differentiating something like this. So if you've got mt plus c to the power of n, then the n and the m, we times at the front, so you multiply by n, you multiply by m, and then you reduce the power by 1. So we're going to use the quotient rule for this function. So we're going up here, the space. So the u is the top, which is minus 40. The v is the bottom, which is 40 minus 12 squared. d 
du by dt, well, minus 40 is just the same, which disappears, so we get nothing. So minus 40 differentiates to 0. The v by the t, we follow this new rule. So we multiply by the m, the power, so we multiply by 2. We multiply by the m, the number in front of the t, so we times by the 4. We keep the bracket, but we reduce the power by 1. So we, our power is 2, so we take 1 off it. Simplifying, well the only simplification we do is 2 times 4 is 8. Well actually, and we do 2 take away 1 is 1, but that's, that's a power of 1, and we don't usually write powers of 1, so we can leave that blank. So d2s over to t squared, we're using the product rule, the quotient rule again. So v times du by the t, well, du by t is 0, so we just get 0 for that bit. Minus u times du by the t, so minus 40 times 8 times 40 minus 12, all over the v squared, so 40 minus 12 squared squared again. So minus 40 times 8 is minus 320, but we times by a minus at the front, so that becomes plus 320. Times 40 minus 12, all over squared to the power of square, you times them, so you get 40 minus 12 to the power of 4. Now that may be acceptable as a final answer, though some people may note that you can cancel that down, because you can divide both top and bottom by 40 minus 12, and you get 320 over 40 minus 12 cubed. So, I'm going to put in that box. I'm happy enough you get that far to give the mark, because it's simplified enough. That's just a bit more simplification. If you want to do that, that's fine, but it's up to you. All right, moving on to part B. We need to find the gradients of the points t equals 4 and t equals 5. So we'll need our ds by the t formula. So t equals 4, the gradient equals ds by the t, so ds by the t is minus 40, divided by open bracket 4 times t, so the t in this case is 4, minus 12, close bracket squared. So we need to stick that into a calculator. So minus 40 over bracket 4 times 4 minus 12 close bracket squared is minus 2.5. And then t equals 5, do the same thing. However, our t value is 5, so we do 4 times 5 minus 12 all squared for the denominator. So, sticking that into the calculator, we get minus 0 0.625. Now, again, that's what we need to do to be able to pass. In order to get merits and distinctions, you need to explain your method. And also you need to compare your answers to those obtained in A8. So A8 were estimates, 
So if your estimates were close to these answers, then you would say that your estimates are really good. If they're further away from this, they're bad estimates. They don't have to be good estimates to get merit and distinction, you just need to make the right comparison. Best of luck. <laughs>